everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and I'm so excited for National Craft Month. March is National Craft Month, and we're going to do a video a day, uh, some sort of craft-related video. Every day this month, I welcome you to join me every day. Watch for those videos when they pop up. If you're not subscribed, you're going to want to subscribe because not only are you going to get some great content and some inspiration, but we're doing a giveaway, or I'm doing a giveaway. And today the giveaway is open. You will be able to enter the giveaway in the comments below this video every day this month. If you share the video, um, you can come back and comment to enter again. So I'm really excited about it and we're gonna jump right in and show you first I'm going to show you what the giveaway encompasses. It's big. And second, I will do a quick card that is really cute. I uh, changed my mind about what I wanted to do. It's going to be a quick uh, fan card that you can make really easy, but it looks so cute. And you'll love that. So hang on and let's get into it. All right, first I want to tell you uh, the rules for the giveaway, which I already told you you can enter every day, and the drawing is March 31st, so you at least get 31 entries if you come back to this video every day. Also, <clears throat> you do need to be a subscriber to my channel, so make sure you are a subscriber. Um, you need to be 18 or older. You also need to put the words craft giveaway. So make sure you put the words craft giveaway in the comments. That's your entry. And when random comment picker goes to look for winners, then it's going to search for those words. Okay. So craft giveaway is your entry specific text. Also, you do have to claim your prize within seven days. So when I draw winners on March 31st, you need to make sure that you, um, you, you, you respond. And that means you need to come back to this March 1st video once you see your name is called and let me know that you won. And I'll communicate with you to get your address so that I can send you your prize. So first, I'm going to tell you there are going to be 10 prizes that I give away. And so that means there'll be 10 winners this month. Isn't that big? I'm so excited. So I'm going to try to keep it short just because we do want to do a little DIY too. <clears throat> but let me show you. So the first thing that I want to show you is the stamping platform. This is Crafters Companions 4x4 grid. This will be a prize that I give away to a winner. Also, uh, another prize is this paper pad. It is 48 sheets. It is um, Spring Fever. They're eight by eight, and um, it's the thicker cardstock. Really, really cute. These are the designs. I'm so excited. All right, the next prize that I'll give away are 40 sheets of Centura Pearl uh, cardstock. This is beautiful and it's really great. It's the A4 size. <clears throat> it's really great for um, even your construction of little paper type boxes or anything. There are several colors, but I'm not going to open this um, for, I want to keep it intact for the winner, but there are eight different colors. It's really pretty. <clears throat> Another winner will win this large pack of white stamping card. There are 60 sheets. This is the A4 size, so it's plenty big for your regular cards. Another winner will win the Lee Ann Buddy Bag. <clears throat> this is a storage bag that you can store your um, crafting supplies in or, you know, other things that you want to store. But you can see even uh, little paints or, or stamps or stamp pads or whatever. Really, really fun. This is a 12 and a half long by four and a half wide and four and a half inches tall. So that's the first view. Is this exciting? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's the first five. So the next winner will win three, three um, stamp ink pads, water reactive. This is the uh, baby blue. 
the Chinese Red, and the Honey Pot. So this, these three will be to one winner. The next winner, or whoever winner wins, will win an adhesive set. This is the Glue Dots tape pen, a Kalal glue, which you've seen me use a lot and everybody's interested in that glue, and then a Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue, which is a water-based glue, like your tacky glues and stuff. So that's another one. There's three more. I'm trying to go through it kind of fast. The next prize is a subscription box from Crafters Companion. It is box 16, and this is the statement word edibles to make your fun statement words um, on your cards or boxes. You get four metal dies, seven clear acrylic stamps. You get 24 card blanks, 24 envelopes, printed paper sheets, colored cardstock, adhesive pearls, and ribbon, all in this to make up to 24 cards. All right, I know you're jazzed by now. I know you're jazzed by now. All right, so I have one more subscription box that I will be giving away. Let me see, I don't even, yeah, there we go. All right, this one is box 18, and this is the character box. So you can see all the cute characters there are four metal dies, 25 acrylic stamps, 24 cards, 24 envelopes, pearls, printed paper sheets, colored cardstock, and ribbon to make enough for 24 cards. And you can make more because you'll have the dies. All right. So if that's not enough, the big grand prize. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. The big grand prize is not even open. It is from Diamond Press. And yes, Diamond Press didn't donate this. I I purchased these things. Crafters Companion did not either. So let me open it and show you what's inside the box. Uh, so just know if you win, I only opened the box to demo what is inside. I will not use the what is inside at all. It's just for demonstration purpose only. All right. Are you seeing what's in here? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have to get it back in the box. All right. It is a brand new ah, diamond press marquee. Yes, it is. And also included are some folders and uh, the instructions, so the folders are in here. Not gonna open it, but you do get that as well. And the user guide. So I hope that you all will enter because this is gonna be so much fun. Don't forget, you can enter every day and you can enter the, you should enter the words craft giveaway. So I'm gonna put all of this back on my uh, table back there so that you'll keep it in front of you the whole month and don't forget to enter. All right, now hang on and we'll do a little DIY today. All right, let's make a cute little fan card. So I've got my fan drying here, um, I already made. So I'm gonna show you how to make that and then we're gonna put it on a card and use some Dollar Tree stickers and some ribbon and some papers that we already have to create a really cute card. But the, the focal point really is the fan and I'm using a half of a doily that's eight inches. So I did cut the doily to four inches um, wide from this side to this side. So we're gonna make a five by seven card. So let me just show you. I cut a 10 by five, uh, 10 by seven card uh, stock and scored it in half to make it five inches when I fold it. Just a simple card. This is white cardstock. All right, then I have my mat and layers. 
So I have cut this a quarter of an inch smaller, which would be um, six and three quarters by four and three quarters for my matting. And then I also cut this a quarter of an inch smaller, so it will mat just perfectly on that black, so it'll stand out. And this um, paper is uh, cut to four and a half by six and a half. And then I'm going to mat and layer it onto my cardstock. I'll do that in just a moment. So I'm just using some black cardstock. And then I chose this really pretty Sunset Breeze paper pad that I had on my stash and my own. And I have beautiful papers in here. So I'm gonna show you how I made the fan and then we'll decorate that card with the one that's drying. So this this is a beautiful paper pad. And I'm just gonna pick, um, I'm just gonna pick this this pretty right here, this pretty sheet. So I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna show you how I made the fan here. So this fan is the half of the doily and the paper pad. I, I didn't really do a really hard uh, thing with this. So you'll, you'll see that it's super simple. You don't have to have a die or anything. So I just took my doily, I put it on the edge of my paper you can see here and I just went around it with my pen trying not to write on my doily right all right so I'm just gonna go around now one thing that you can do which I want to do still is do some edging on here I got a little bit of ink on there that's okay all right so now that I have this you can see that my paper is not as um, long as my doily because I wanted the doily to um, extend beyond the paper. So now I'm gonna cut inside this line where I have my doily measured and I'm just gonna follow it and I'm gonna go about an inch and just follow it. It's not hard at all and anyone can do it just follow the indentions from your um, your doily and then just there you go super simple super easy now to fold it you may want to put your paper over your doily like that to fold it but let's go ahead and do some inking on this first so I want to take my um, my blending tool and I just have this one, and I'm gonna use some purple. Uh, let me get my ink real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, a quick dry ink, just like your dye inks. This is Pale Fig, and I'm just gonna get some of that on my little blending tool. And I would use my glass mat, but I don't wanna get um, any reflection on here for you, so I'm gonna bring out just a scrap sheet of paper um, that I can use. Let me see. Here we go. So I'm going to have that here. And I'm just going to go around the edges a little bit with this purple just to bring in. And you do have to be uh, careful because doilies are very um, fragile. Okay, once you've done that, then you're going to want to fold your fan. So I just took my, I, I didn't measure, so I just took it and went about an inch or so, folding back first, just like that, and then I bring it forward, just like you would fold a fan uh, in school <laughs> when you were younger, or even now, and just go back and forth, making your mountains and your valleys, and works really pretty, and it's very easy. And the last one is gonna probably lie like that. All right, so then you have your fan. And the way that I glued this was, I just took some tacky glue and I put it on the inside of the paper pad, um, paper, and just smear it around. And then since it's already fitting inside, my, my doily's fitting, you just, you know, like push your paper uh, and glue into the doily. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna have to glue your fan together. 
So you need to put some glue uh, at the bottom. So what I did was I just put glue inside those um, crevices and then I wiped off the excess and then I put a little um, clip there. And this clip is from um, the Dollar Tree and that's good to let it dry. All right, now I'm gonna set that aside because I have a dried one already and we're gonna put the card together. Super easy, super simple. All right, what I like to use is what I showed you in my from my giveaway is um, the Koal glue for matting and layering. You don't have to do that, but I like to use it. So I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna just smear it on there real good. And what it allows you to do is move your paper around when you use the um, liquid glue, but you can definitely use a tape pen. And then just push it into your card when you get it where you want it. And then I'm gonna take my really pretty paper, do the same thing. And this glue also mats and layers really well without giving you the bumps um, because it doesn't soak into the paper like water-based glue, like tacky glue is usually water-based. All right, that's beautiful all by itself. Now I have this really pretty fan that I'm gonna put on my card and I have to glue it down and I know that it's not gonna lie down just to lie down. So I am gonna use some of my hot glue to make sure it adheres this way. And I want my fan here and hold that down just a moment. Now, while that's drying, I'm gonna take a little bit of my foam adhesive and I'm actually going to just put it underneath here where it's not seen to help my fan also stay adhered in a couple of places at the top. This is just the way that I wanna do it. You can definitely do it any um, way that you'd like. So just wherever your fan is gonna to be touching the card, and just give it a little something extra to hang on to so it doesn't come apart from your card. So I'm going to put one more here. There we go. Now, that is just so pretty. Very, very pretty. Now I have a bow and I have some fun stickers from Dollar Tree. Now, I really like these stickers. This one, these are really pretty, but it didn't really match my palette the same. The heart is real pretty too show you the heart. The sharp heart looks really cute there, but it could also go up there. Then these are really cute um, little pop-up stickers from Dollar Tree, and they actually do match my palette really well. So um, if I wanted to do something like um, get a fresh start, I think that would be really cute there. So I could just put it on like that. Now there is sticker on the back but I'm actually gonna put a hot glue on here if I'm not out of hot glue. Let me fix that. All right, I think we're ready now. So just ran out of hot glue, how about that? All right, so I'm just gonna take my little sticker from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna adhere it right here to my fan. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right, I'm just gonna hold it there a moment. Now, I do like this heart. It's really, really cute. So I tend to play with how I want everything to look. So I like that. And then I also like these flowers, but I don't know that they um, really match, but they're very, very cute. So I'm gonna go with this heart. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna also use some hot glue on here because I do wanna make sure that heart, because it's wood, sticks well and then I've got some gems to put on my card so some pretty gems I don't have um, pink but I do have purple so I'm going to take some gems and put those on as well and I'm just going to use tacky glue to give it a little extra boost to adhere so I'm going to use these purple ones and I'm just going to do one two three 
And I usually try to do them um, with a little glue where I want them to be. Now you can use a pickup tool or um, you can use a little uh, tweezers, but sometimes I just find my fingers work just as well. So we're just gonna stick these on and that looks cute. And if I decide I want some more, I can add them later. But then I have my bow and I think I might put my bow either here or here. Um, and I think I like it at the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead, put a little glue on that for time's sake and just put it right there. And then that's your card. Go ahead, put your sentiment on the inside. Don't forget to sign that you made it and date it. And there you go, a fan card. How cute is that? So I hope you enjoyed this video and you will uh, come back, enter every single day. Don't forget to enter craft giveaway and have a wonderful day.